Welcome to Deep Thought. Pay attention to everything you hear, eat, and see. I'm going to tell you what, going through life, pay attention to everything. Pay attention as best as possible. Of course, you know it's hard. You're driving to work. You're thinking about all this stuff. But sometimes just be quiet and learn to pay attention because there's a lot that you can really notice, you know? Now, when I talk about hearing, that just like random sounds. Like I hear birds outside. I think there's yet another uh, couple of birds building a bird's nest under my deck. And that usually happens. I usually hear some birds. So if I walk out of my garage, I see a couple of birds flying from there. And I did see like a thing hanging down. I paid attention to it. I was like, well, as long as the thing ain't hanging down, I'm all right. <laughs> I left it alone otherwise. But I was paying attention to it. But not just what you hear, but what are people saying? What are people saying? You pay attention. Now, this don't necessarily mean just take them at their word or just say, oh, that's what they're saying. This is how it must be. Still here. Okay, what are they talking about? You know, and especially when we're talking about what are they talking about? What's going on in society? What are they talking about on the news? I'm going to get more into the news in the next one. You know, what are people around you talking about? Listen to them. You know, it's funny, you know, I had a guy, because I, I get some guys, they don't really listen. They don't really fully listen to what I say. They only hear what they want to hear, you know. But a guy was saying, oh, I thought you said don't listen to women. I said, no. You listen to everybody around you. You just don't follow what they say until you check it out. But you still listen because you can learn a lot. You can learn a lot from them. Like even myself, what do I say? I want you to listen to what I say, but then go check it out. But you still listen. Even when somebody's saying some fucked up shit, you're still listening because you can get an idea where their head is at and that might affect you. You know, what's what, hey, keep your ears, as they would say, keep your ears to the street. You gotta know what's going on. That's what that means. So you wanna pay attention to what you're hearing because it could affect you in a negative way or it could affect you in a positive way. You might hear something that might be the opening to you making a million dollars. Mm. You know, pay attention to everything you eat. Now, this, this, is, this is something a little different. I'm gonna tell you what. Because it was interesting when I had the stroke uh, and stuff and mentioned everybody's like, hey, just eat this, just eat this, just eat this. I was like, well, first of all, I couldn't eat it all. You know, I couldn't eat it all. I had a G-tube. Two, even with that, you still want to pay attention because just because something works or affects uh, one person's body a certain way, it might not affect your body. See, we have different, by, all of us have different body chemistry. We have different blood types, everything. So you have to figure it out. Like you get one person, they could probably eat nothing but meat and be healthy. Nothing major happened. Nothing major happened. Meanwhile, I've known some people who were actually vegan, you know, eating and like eating good and everything, and they got everything wrong with their bodies. But what it is, is their bodies. See, you want to pay attention. How does a different type of food affect you? Does, you know, eating a certain food make you fired up? Or does a certain type of food slow you down? You want to pay attention to that. Which foods are good for you? Don't worry about everybody else. You got to worry about what works in your system because we all going to have different things, you know? We, we, all, we all have different body chemistry and everything. But... You have to pay attention. Now, yeah, people are going to say, well, you should eat this or you should be vegan. Oh, no, nah, don't be vegan. Just eat meat. You know, like I've heard of people who, who who've been like totally healthy, yet they will drop dead or they will be sick or even had strokes. Then I've heard of some other people, they smoking, they eating all the so-called bad food and nothing's happening to them. That's because they have different chemistry. You got to figure out what it is that you eat for yourself. What can you eat? What can you do? Because uh, like my youngest, my oldest son, he actually has an allergy to shellfish. He's never had crabs in his life, never had shrimp in his life. He got an allergy to it, you know? And I was like, man, that's bad. Crabs, 
especially you live in Maryland, that, that's like the state food and everything, crabs. Shoot, you can find a crab place. You open up a crab place, that's a great business idea in this state. But everybody can't eat it. See, everybody has different things that they can eat and that they can't eat. People gotta figure it out. And then pay attention to everything you see. And you gotta see not just with your regular eye, but your third eye. You gotta see what are you actually seeing. Now see, because people have false beliefs in everything, because people wanna believe some things, they don't see what they want. Let me use, a, let me use an example. Um, like, uh, you know, uh, you have a lot of racists who believe, who want to believe like, oh, blacks are lazy, blacks are lazy, blacks are lazy, or they don't want this job or something. And see, they, they're going to see that because they believe that even when you see something else. Now, I remember I learned this lesson years ago. Like people would say that, but then if you open up a store in a black neighborhood, a poor black neighborhood, you know, you got a crowd of people trying to get a job. That don't seem like laziness to me. But people will see what they want to see no matter what. Or I remember recently, let me use the racist thing again. I remember recently there was a picture of a, a crowd of black people on a beach. And, you know, they had mentioned it was just, uh, you know, it was like some college get together or something. But somebody else had written a, a post that said, oh, yeah, they fighting, they fighting. I'm like, I don't see any fighting in here. They just chill. But that's what they see. They probably weren't even trying to be mean. People see what they want. They see what they want in other people's behavior. But one of the things that anybody has to have, regardless of who you are, you got to have that third eye. What do you actually see? What, the, what are they actually doing? Not what you want to believe. What are you seeing? What are you seeing that's happening out here? You know? You got to pay attention to all of that. You got to pay attention to all of that because it provides information. That's the thing. It gives you knowledge. What you hear, every time I hear somebody speak, I'm getting in knowledge. You know, that's why I'm able to know what I know. That's why I know what I know when, you know, on my main channel, I'm talking about what well, women this or that because I learn how to listen to them, but also see what they're doing. So I'm checking their actions and then I'm still investigating, but I have something to base it on because of hearing and seeing correctly. So that's very important, that's very important. And the eating part, like I said, that's your health. Food is health, so you gotta say, what are you eating, you know? What are you eating? What is, what is the presentation? What are you being presented with? Is this good for you? It could be, you could be allergic. So you wanna look into that. You wanna look into that. So I'm gonna tell you what though, pay attention. No matter what it is, pay attention. Just pay attention and think because I'm going to tell you what. One of the things that happens is a lot of people, they don't. They don't pay attention to what they're hearing. They don't pay attention to what they eat. They don't pay attention to what they're seeing. You know, man, shoot, I could add touch in there. They, don't, they ain't paying attention. You see, they're just going along. But you can learn a lot from all of these. And that's the key. You can gain knowledge. All right? And then one of the things is you got to ask yourself, are you seeing the real thing? Are you paying attention to the real thing? Like I said, you got to see with your third eye. You got to hear with your third ear and you got to try to, but you got to pay attention to it to even begin to get to that point. So I want y'all really think on that. All right. And I'll get back with y'all. Peace and blessings.